What's up YouTube? Ken Montavani here, back for another one with Montavani Racing. Uh, just the last video I did, I got a new product for a C5. Uh, well, actually, a, a new product out for the C5, and then uh, from Electron uh, Sport USA.com, and I just got my second item from them. So before I installed the headlight uh, uh, delete kit for the car, now I just got the side scoop uh, kit for the car, which basically allows you now on the side ducts of the car, you know, well, on the fender of the car, you have these little vents that, that are basically fake that are in the fender of the car. Well, now what it's gonna actually do is make it fully functional. So I'm gonna install that on this car now, so check it out. Here we go, here's the parts. As you can see, they're just basically 3D printed, but they did a fantastic job going ahead and designing them. I think they look fantastic. Uh, now, there is one other video online on YouTube that you can probably find that uh, someone just did an install video of them about a couple months ago, maybe six months ago. So I just finally got mine. Actually, I ordered two sets because I'm going to be building a new car here pretty soon. They're even numbered, set number 93 right here. But anyways, this kit is going to be installed in here. So basically, it makes your side fender vent truly functional by passing that air in between here and here. Well, this probably goes more like that. Actually, it's probably the wrong side. But anyways, nonetheless, you get the idea. So that panel right there gets cut out and then there's a fake little plastic piece in there we have to remove. And that's what I'm gonna jump on right now. Oh, actually, before I do that, they did send what appears to be template so let's pull that template out check it out so there you go take the template lay it up where it needs to go cut the holes out cut the plastic out and you're off to the races literally now step one cut out the template that they give you that's very easy cut on the dotted lines just be careful is that right here they have a little tab make sure you cut those on the outside because that's where you're going to need to have, make a mark for your uh the holes that it's going to mount through the actual duck so um, now put this up i went ahead and clean the surface put this up here and trace it out so step one and move this rotor out the way remove this top screw and what I did is I just went ahead and you see this right here, line with the existing hole. Put it right back into place. Line up with the leading edge. And then I just went ahead and tightened it down. It all lines up. I took my marking pen, I have a Sharpie literally uh, paint pen. So now push this out and line it up the best you can. Just be careful on this leading edge right here to keep it as tight there as possible and kind of wrinkle the paper down <laughs> into position. Um, that was a little, uh, it looks a little sketchy, but believe it or not, I did it on the other side already and it worked. So start tracing. Now for the holes, I just went ahead and poked them through and created a little indentation because what I did on the other side is I actually took this all off and before I drilled the hole out, I took the duck and kind of made it up to make sure the hole was where the hole needed to be. All right, that's good there. Now take this whole panel off and cut it out. Seven millimeter removes everything.
time to start cutting. So what I did notice on the other side is these, here's my outlines, here's my little indentions. So what I did is I just took this and lined it up with the cutout holes and checked the back side. But if you can see here, this is actually a little too deep. And on the other side, it ended up with a little bit of a gap. So I'm gonna cut this one shallow and then blend back into the line. Every other line ended up being quite perfect, except for this very bottom one. It needs to just be a little bit shallower because you end up with a small hole there, which I'll figure out how to plug it. Now to cut it out, the other side, I went ahead and scribed it all the way around. Uh, but I found that uh, I have an industrial pair of scissors. So I'm gonna cut the straight lines first and then kind of scribe around the turn and then work it off. There you go. So, see now that worked out much perfect, perfect because that gap is now completely filled. On the other side, you'll see I have a little bit of a hole. So now I'm gonna drill these out uh, and put this piece in. All right, now what you need to do is remove these two seven millimeters and that takes this inner, uh, well, cover, I guess, that actually covers your where your ductwork is going to go, removes it. So I'm having a little bit of a challenge. See my problem. There is a decorative, well, you know, Corvette guys, they like to add all the fancy gadgets and this has a screen that was installed many moons ago. So this, as you can see, has a beveled edge, and this has to actually countersink into that hole. Much better. Now on the other side too, right here, there's a little nipple that sticks out and it impedes the form right here. So I just took my pliers and cut it. It just obstructs the shape just a little bit. There we go, perfect. Now it lines right up with the hole. So first screw. I'm a fan of reusing hardware. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the clips off of this. They give you hardware. They give you hardware for all of this stuff in case you lost some or something like that. But I like reusing the hardware off the cars. So I'm just gonna remove this one, put this back here and put the screw into it. Also, I have a lot of this stuff kind of laying around anyways because I work on these cars a lot, but
All right, that's installed. Now it's a fully working duck. Ducked, not duck. Anyways, actually I'm missing a clip up there, so I'll steal the other one off of here, put that clip up there, and then put the rest of it in. There you go. That side's done. See right through there. Now all that air pressure that builds up in the wheel well blows right out. So thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it. Tune in for the next time I go ahead and uh, try to fix stuff that I break.